Hi, in this video we're going to show you an easy way to enable and disable your network connection as needed just by double clicking on a shortcut. I will say before we start here, this was found on Reddit from a user called bbmaster123, so he came up with this, or at least he posted it on Reddit. Alright, so here's what you have to do. You just need to open up Notepad, then you could copy and paste this in from the description. I'll have to double check and see if there's any characters that are not allowed in the description. So if that's the case, I'll just maybe I'll post a link to a text file that you could just edit. All right, so once you're there, you just need to change this here from Ethernet to whatever your adapter is, whether it's your Ethernet connection or your wireless connection. So if you go to Control Panel and you go to Change Adapter Settings, you can see your network names right here. So this is Ethernet 0, and then you could also get it from an IP config right there. And if you were wireless, it'd be wireless connection, so on. And once you have that, you just need to put it in the text file here in all three places with the quotes, and then save it as a batch file. So change the extension from .txt to .bat, and your file will look like that. So let me bring this back up here. So all you need to do is run it as administrator. So you can right-click Run as Administrator. And now you can see it's disabled. And just do it again to enable it. All right. So one way to kind of make it a little quicker process is to right-click on it, copy, and right-click, paste shortcut. And then what you could do there is go to the Properties and go to Advanced under the Shortcut tab here. Check the box for Run as Administrator so you don't have to right-click Run as Administrator. And then you could even do things such as go back to Properties here, change the icon, and you could just find something that you like that kind of fits in with the network adapter. You could even do something like this where you can make whatever you want. And then you'll have your shortcut here, and all you need to do is double-click it instead of right-click Run as Administrator. You'll still get the UAC prompt, of course. And, of course, you'll have to be an administrator to do this. If you want to enable again, just like that. And then you could, you know, make a shortcut in your taskbar, your start menu, wherever you like. All right, so once again, take this text here, copy and paste it into a notepad file, change the three sections here where it says the network adapter to match what you have, save it as a batch file, .bat. And then you can make a shortcut, go to the shortcut, properties, shortcut tab, advanced, run as administrator. And then you could also change the icon from here as well. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.